Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen, where today we're making tahini overnight oats. So if you've watched any of my videos, you might already know how much I love overnight oats. So I have a new version for you today. We have our individual container here that I love to use. I have a third cup of our rolled oats that goes in. I have some chia seeds. This is some maple syrup, which is optional. If you like a touch of sweetness, great. If you don't, you can skip that entirely. You can also add a pinch of salt in here. That is optional as well. And then, of course, our tahini, which is sesame seed paste. You can also get chocolate tahini, which is a nice overnight oat addition as well. And then we have two thirds cup of cow's milk. You can also use almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, whatever you like. You just want to make sure you use a liquid. Um, you don't want to use a yogurt, especially a Greek yogurt, because there's not enough liquid. Because what happens is overnight, the oats really soak up that liquid and it becomes much, much more dense. And I'll show you that in a minute but we want to make sure that there's enough liquid for those oats and that chia to really soak up. And if you use something like a Greek yogurt, there simply is not enough liquid, so it'll be like a dense concrete brick, and nobody wants to eat overnight oats like that, right? So, as you can see, there is quite a bit of liquid, but we're gonna put our top on, and then this will go into the fridge at least four hours or overnight. So, ready for breakfast tomorrow. Now, I have, of course, made one ahead. So, as you can see here, when I take that top off, it really has soaked up a lot of that liquid and it became this nice, creamy, overnight oats texture here. So then, we can add our toppings. It could be nuts and seeds, it could be any type of fruit you like, you could put some spices or seasonings in there, whatever you like. So today I'm gonna do some sliced banana. So in goes our banana, and then I have some toasted pecans. And there you go. Delicious. So once again, I'm Abby. Thanks for watching my New York City kitchen and my tahini overnight oats. See you next time, bye.